Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, Microsoft announced today a little something that actually we saw the first version of it in Windows 11 in a Insider build um, early this year. And uh, they talked more about it today. And it's called the um, Administrator Protection. So what's the Administrator Protection? Now, there was a annoying version of it if you want, that was kind of introduced in Windows Vista. If you remember in Windows Vista, every time you wanted to do something, it always prompted, okay, this is going to execute an action. Are you sure you want to? And it was actually one of the things that most people wanted me to disable at the time because it was just too annoying. And it was called the user account control. Now, the idea behind the user account control was actually a good one. Uh, it's just that the implementation might have been not really correct. It would annoy users more than anything else. So you would even, if you had compatibility uh, issues with a software that you had to put in compatibility mode, it would actually prompt it even just starting an app. So it's, it's kind of didn't learn really. But um, so they kind of came back to normal, and which means for most people, we are running our PCs in admin mode. For most people, the Windows operating system is installed in a way that, well, yeah, you're the administrator of the PC, you can do what you want. The problem is that is a huge security risk. Um, I uh, often, uh, for protection, uh, over the years installed PCs where I would put the user in a standard user mode rather than an admin. Why? Because without the admin password, uh, you are very limited in what you can install. And in fact, a lot of malware cannot attack you or install due to the fact that you don't have all the rights. So, of course, that adds a uh, vulnerability to Windows. Now, um, Microsoft, of course, has a new program called the Windows Resiliency Initiative. This comes from the big blunder of that famous antivirus company that made um, pretty much tons and tons of um, uh, tons and tons of uh, computers useless for a little while. Uh, and, you know, if you needed to go to the bank or, you know, th th tons of things around the world stopped working. Uh, and Microsoft vowed that this should not happen again. So um, what they are going to do apparently is uh, in 25H2, because that's where we think this is going to happen. You're going to have Windows LO being used as a verification method. So, for example, if you have a camera that points to your face and you have, um, you want to do something, you that might be dangerous or modify the system, you will be prompted to identify yourself either with a pin or well using Windows Hello functionalities, including face recognition, like I'm using here on this PC. So, this basically what it does is it puts you technically in a standard user mode, but with little tokens, little moments where the system can go into admin mode to execute something because it needs to, and then it goes back into standard user mode. So uh, we'll see how it is implemented and how um, well it is done, but um, we'll uh, definitely have uh, a, uh, a, a glimpse of it uh, in the Dev Channel Insiders. And um, this will be for everybody. It's not just for professional or enterprise Windows. It will be on Windows 11 Home also. Uh, so administrator protection is going to be interesting to see how well it's implemented. If it's not too annoying and, uh, well, technically will help keep Windows safe. So the Windows Insider dev are the first one to get it. And uh, if it works out well, it should be implemented within 25H2 later this year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.